After the introduction of new mutated types of skibdi toilets and cameramen, the world changed forever. Humans became an underclass that now only mined resources to equip the cameramen. Most men and women now worked in the mines extracting metals. In return, they received protection from the skibdi toilets. David was among the miners, having already worked for two years to keep his family safe. One ordinary day, working in the mine, David came across something he had never seen before. It was a strange red ore, different from anything he had ever seen. Trying to break it apart, his pickaxe broke. Then, David decided to use explosives. Covering the ore with the explosive, David pressed a button. There was an explosion that brought the entire mine down on David. He was left locked up with that ore. David had no choice but to wait for rescue. However, the days turned to nights and he realized that no one would save him. Feeling wild hunger in desperation, he decided to eat the only thing he had on hand, bits of unknown red ore. As he swallowed the ore, he felt his body begin to burn. After a few seconds, his body turned into something flaming. Due to the high temperature, he began to melt all the rocks in his path, rushing upwards. When he got outside, a group of cameramen were already waiting for him, who noticed the powerful energy surge on their radars. They took him to the secret headquarters, where they found out that his body was emitting a huge amount of energy. The scientists decided to use David as a weapon and conducted cruel experiments on him over a long time. After several months of torture and experimentation, scientists developed a special robotic suit that David would power with his energy. Now David and his suit are one forever.